thought I was done. I thought I wrapped it up. Did all of the Juniper Certification Network Challenge. Five certs in six months, knocked it all out. Well, it's 2020, so what do you expect? Juniper threw me one more challenge. So it's not quite that dramatic. Hey everybody, what's good? What's going on? JB here with another Cyber Insight video. So Juniper did throw me a curveball, and that is that they came out with a brand new certification when I only had one more certification that I had to do in my Juniper Network Certification Challenge. So in today's video, instead of this being a wrap-up video of me talking about how great it is to complete my network challenge and, you know, the awesomeness that comes with having the JNCIA X5, we're not doing that. We're not there yet. We do have one more certification that we're going to do. I'm going to give you the breakdown on this because it is relatively new. So we're going to go through all of that and talk about how we're going to throw this on top of the network challenge. And hopefully some of you might go along with me and do the same certification. So we're going to hop over to the computer and start talking about the JNCIA missed certification. All right. So what is this whole missed certification? Well, it is a introductory wireless certification. So it's kind of goes over some of the stuff that we would normally see in like the Network Plus from a wireless perspective. And then it also covers a new technology that Juniper has added into their portfolio, the MIST line of devices. But instead of just relying on me, let's go to Juniper and take a look at what they lay out as their plan and resources that will help us go down this path towards a JNCIA MIST certification. All right, so the first place that we're going to start here is on the Juniper certification tracks page. We've been here before when we were looking at the initial Juniper Network certification challenge. And back then, this little blue thing over here didn't exist. So uh, this kind of lays out what we are looking at. They have a few different certifications that are available, the associate level and then a specialist cert. So we want to go and take a look at the specialist cert. I kind of give you uh, a f give you a little bit of a breakdown here, but instead of looking at this from a graphic perspective, let's go back and see what they actually have. As I mentioned, it's a certificate for wireless LAN networking professionals. It's going to cover wireless networking technology and using the MIST AI uh, group of devices and technology. No prerequisites. Your standard uh, JNCIA certification, 90 minutes, 65 multiple choice questions. So we have our general wireless LAN concepts. These are you know different types of channels, different types of frequencies, usage, signal strength, attenuation, all those different types of uh, kind of basic entry level wireless networking information that's critical to know. Um, again, this is the type of stuff where if you took your network plus, Chances are you've seen and are familiar with these concepts before. Wi-Fi standards, that kind of builds on top of that as well. So the difference between all the different 802.11 uh, variations that are out there, why we would use some, why we wouldn't use others, all that good stuff. Wireless LAN lifecycle stuff is kind of interesting. I mean, that's more the type of stuff that you would look at when doing wireless surveys, trying to understand the environment, where you want to place APs, what type of signal strength you would you want to use, whether you're doing a um, whether you're doing some type of assessment on a live network or you're doing it before the network exists. Those are the types of things that I'm assuming this section will cover. Then we get into the MIST AI concepts. I don't know anything about this, so I'm not even going to make it up. I'm not going to give you guys some BS or anything. I have no idea. I'm going to have to learn this stuff. So it looks like they have a few different types of devices and services and stuff like that, which I'm going to have to learn about. Obviously, within uh, the GUI for all of that, um, there's going to be different types of configurations, which all that is going to cover. And then how to use their technology to monitor their devices that are in place. So now, as far as preparation goes, I'm going to save you a little bit of time here. OK, normally we would go to the uh, Juno's Genius website. And they would have a section that has all of the training, the videos, the certification test, or I shouldn't say the practice test, and then the voucher exam. Well, if we were to go over there, this is all you're going to see. So they do have a practice test, which is awesome. I actually took it completely cold, not knowing any of this stuff and got a 50 on it. So 
feel pretty comfortable that with a couple weeks of digging into this content that I'll be good to go to be able to pass the exam. But this is all that you have. So, or I should say this is all that you have from the Juno's Genius website. Um, I have been told that they are going to be integrating content in over uh, into their training resources. Uh, but at the moment on this website, it's not here. But if we go back and we look at the recommended training, they're going to say a few different things. They have a getting started with Wi-Fi and then a missed masters self-paced online training. I'm going to save you some time right here. This getting started with Wi-Fi is a Juniper training that they have. It is fantastic. It's so fantastic that the people that have the actual missed website, because remember, this is a technology that Juniper has bought, actually put together their own training, which is this missed master that actually incorporates this getting started with Wi-Fi content. So I'm like I said, this should save you a little bit of time. Don't start with the getting started with Wi-Fi and then move on to the Miss Master stuff. Go straight to Miss Master. And if we go over there and take a look, you create an account, you log in, and this is what you're gonna get. And the first part is this Wi-Fi basics course. So um, what we're gonna wanna do when you go through this, I believe is a Wi-Fi basics course, and then one, which is the missed Wi-Fi certification. And that should cover all of the stuff that is going to be on the exam. Now. Like I said, I'm going to go through this and verify all this when, when I do it myself. And uh, if there is something uh, wrong here, I will mention it in my follow-up videos when I do the practice test uh, live stream and then my experience taking the test. So a uh, few things to mention with this. If you go and you pop in to here um, and you go and start up the training. So the training here is run by a guy named Joel Crane or at potato underscore phi on Twitter. Go check him out. So far, uh, the content's pretty good. He's going to become my best friend over the next couple weeks. So, yeah. Uh, if we go back and look at, let's go back. Get out of here. There we go. So we see this is kind of like the stuff covered in Wi-Fi basics. Like I mentioned, it's a, it's all pretty much Network Plus level stuff. And then it's going to get into the mist stuff. So, uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. Uh, you might be asking yourself, you're like, hey, you're showing us the free training. But when you went to the Genius, Genius website, there is no voucher exam. So what can we do with this? Well, don't worry about that. I'm actually going to put a link down below. Uh, Juniper is doing a 75% off this exam through the end of January right now. So you don't even need to take the voucher test or anything like that because it doesn't exist. Um, you can just go and get the voucher coupon to get your 75% off if you decide to go after the certification, which, you know, why not at this point if there's no uh, voucher exam that you need to do if you're comfortable with Wi-Fi stuff and you want to get a certification on it, then this is a pretty good option. And that leads us to one last thing, and that is this guy here, which I was so excited for, but now I'm gonna end up turning this into a JNCIA X6. And I guess I will hold off on doing my final review of the Juniper Associate Program until I have this last certification knocked out. So once I do that, then uh, yeah, we'll come back and have a big discussion on all of the goodness and lessons learned and all that stuff. So uh, keep your eye out this week coming up. I'm going to do that practice exam uh, walkthrough again because I'm going to try and crank out all of this uh, training stuff sometime this week. Um, if I don't end up doing it this week because of Christmas, then it will be the following week. Um, but yeah, it'll happen soon. I promise. All right, so that's all that I really have on this. Let's go wrap up the video. All right, so that's it. That is the breakdown for the MISS certification. Hopefully you guys are gonna come along with me. Hopefully I gave you a good insight into what the certification covers and the resources that are available. I am gonna drop all of those links down below in the description. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up, drop those down in the comment section. If you liked the video, please make sure that you smash that like, subscribe, and notification bell. It means so much to me, seriously. Uh, hope everybody has a great holidays. Take care of yourself, your friends, your family, and I will talk to you soon. All right.